Withering Rooms, a game I don't know much about. I've seen some other friends play it. I've heard good things. And the publisher for the game reached out and offered me a key, and I was like, you know what? Sure. I'm the down to check out new games. So, we're going into this pretty much as blind as blind can be. <laughs> and I'm excited. Saves automatically. Do not close this game when the symbol is visible. Okay. The prologue. Ooh. I like the music quite a bit. Mostein Gatehouse 1892 in a dream. Nightingale is sent to Mostein Private Asylum by her father. New patients must spend their first night in the gatehouse for observation. It is there that Nightingale first awakens in the dream. Well, that's how I sleep too. <laughs> Fully clothed, ready to go. <laughs> Okay, we got a little, little crouch action. Okay, I'm just gonna get used to using controller. It's also probably got a little stick drift to it. Yo, the double subs. We do have alerts muted, uh, as we do for most casual stuff. But thank you, Dirty Koala, for the 19 months that prime, and Shy for the 15 month resub. Thank you, guys. Some furniture can be interacted with. Can I go back to sleep? Also, having a candle on your bed's wild. Why do you have a candle on your bed when you have lights in the room and a fireplace going? <laughs> no wonder she was sent to an asylum. Some furniture can be interacted with. Does that mean just the door and the mirror? Strange coin treasure two. Curious coin with a cross. It's not clear what metal it's made from. It has a subtle iron scent. Do you think it's chocolate? Oh my god. What if it's chocolate? Who needs money in a dream? So the weeks dragged on, and my own motivation to help the guests play out their fantasies waned. I began to understand a coin is a favor stored for later. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, we got a little re reflection. Oh, shit! <laughs> I was not expecting a Dark Souls roll out of that. <laughs> Wee! Woo! <laughs> Cannot open from this side, all right? How did I do that? Like backwards dodge? Is it because I just rolled too close to something? I'm sure it'll tell me, right? Alright, gatehouse bathroom. Oh, okay, close the door. Alright. A corpse in a cage is blocking a hole in the wall. Some furniture can be used to hide. When close, press Y to hide. That is not very hidden. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to run back to the cabinet. Dude, he's got some thick feet. Okay. Roll. Crouch, sneak left. Okay. Grandfather clock, there's a keyhole in the front. Typeface. <clears throat> Special placement log. Patient Millie Erdwood, age 13. Symptoms, epilepsy, inappropriate behavior. Damn. Emma Bainon fires inappropriate behavior. Becca Mason disagreeableness and headaches. Damn. Imagine getting sent to an asylum because you have disagreeableness and headaches. <laughs> Holy. Nightingale Williams symptoms pending. Hmm. This is making me think uh, because it's just like uh, asylum for young women with really nothing wrong with them of uh, the movie Soccer Punch. Press Y near the door to silently peek through. There's a, a thing of a brain over there. If this game ends with me getting a lobotomy, I swear to God. Oop. 
that you can peek through an open door. <laughs> Fine. Combat roll. Combat roll. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got an axe. Stop hiding and sneak away when their back is turned. Yeah, I'm waiting. Also, I love this crouch position. <laughs> <laughs> the most hunched over of sneaks possible. Waiting for them to come back. Are they coming back? Okay, it goes back to that room. He's got like a bear trap on his leg, and he's got a key in his back. Key to the front door of the mansion's gatehouse. DFD. Do you misplace his key again? I should nail it to your backside, you absolute pillock. Roll. Let's check over here before he comes back. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Father Daphne's mind is literally decaying. But he can still be of use to keep him from wandering the grounds of Lock the Gatehouse door. I nailed the spare key into his back in case you need it. You ought to be sneaky. With an additional safeguard, I've cast a spell on the front, guardi front garden of the mansion. No undead may pass through. If you're out there, check for the glowing white sigil above the doorway to make sure it's still working. Serious safe, okay. There's still that clock that has... What is RB? That's R, okay. Oh... Okay. Roll. <laughs> hide. <laughs> I mean, why do I need to hide when it's safe here, right? An empty jar. Oh my god. Oh, who the heck are you? Hello, random people. My frame rate dropped. Slightly still cake, still delicious. 75 health. You look lost. First time in the dream? I'm Becca. Afraid you've stumbled into something you probably shouldn't have. We're having a sort of celebration to welcome the new member of our little club. You see, we're witches. <gasps> In the jury waking world, there's no magic, but here, magic is real. I'm sure it's all terribly confusing. You need to go talk to the first witch. She's our leader. You'll find her up ahead by her fireplace. Just answer any questions she asks truthfully, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, and feel free to grab a slice of cake. It's delicious. Huh? Yeah, was my frame? <laughs> frame just threw the floor here. The first switch. <gasps> you are not supposed to be here. Are you a patient here at the uh, Mostine Private Asylum? Uh, I mean, I guess I am now. Hmm. Come from the gate house? I did. Hmm. And all the way here for no assistance? Y yep. Liar. <gasps> Whoa. Alright, GG. <laughs> See you in Withering Rooms too. <laughs> what? Roll credits. Chapter 1, Mostine House, 1892, In a Dream. The pain of the flame subsides as Nightingale loses consciousness. She awakens in a strange bedroom within Mostine House. Still in the dream. I didn't get help. No one helped me. Heel in the front. Maybe because I read that one note.
cleaver. I hardly know her. An old kitchen cleaver generally used for hacking through thick cuts of meat. Okay, use your weapon. Whoa! Whoa, blah, blah. Fuck this wall. Cut my way out of here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's how I did the dodging back. Oh my god. This has got to be the fast movement tech. Whoop -hop. Whoa! Is that Elizabeth? I'm terribly sorry if I find you by just appearing like that. I like to observe new arrivals to make sure they're not violently deranged before allowing them out of their room. Margaret Blackett. I share administration of this asylum with my father, Dr. Robert Blackett. Your name is Nightingale, isn't it? Let me first deeply apologize to you for being set on fire as soon as you arrived here. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't cool. <laughs> of all the things that could have happened, that was on the not cool list. I assure you, the responsible party has been severely reprimanded. I'm not familiar with your case history, but you may be wondering if this is all a delusion. I can assure you, it is not. You've been drawn into a phenomenon unique to Mostein House. It's a sort of dream or a nightmare. Weeks will pass here during a single night in the real world. I'm sure you have questions. I'll answer as best as I'm able. What can I tell you about? Um, escaping. The methodology for waking up from the dream is not well understood. Some wake with ease, with only a vague memory of what occurred here. Others are trapped indefinitely. Their comatose bodies slowly are rotting in the real world. Dying in the dream provides no release. You'll simply awake anew. Last of magic. In order to invisibly observe you earlier, I used a spirit twig. Simply by snapping the twig in my hand, I'm able to briefly move about as if I were a phantom. In the real world, magic is the provenance of charlatans. But remarkably, in the dream, magic is real. I'm a novice magic user. You'll want to seek out the filthy wretch to learn more. <laughs> yeah, that's her name. Oh yeah, that, uh, that lady over there, yeah, she's just a filthy wretch. <laughs> I guess we'll ask about dangers. As those trapped in the dream and rot in the real world, they turn into deranged living corpses here. Unfortunately, the dream accumulates more such unpleasant residents each year. As such, it's critical that you avoid attention until you're probably armed with tools to defend yourself like this cleaver. While dying in the dream is a temporary affair, the experience is still horrible, so you must be careful. Alright, I'll let you explore then. The mansion reconfigures itself each night, but you should be able to find me in the study easily enough. I'll leave you with the key to this room and make an exit a different way. Oh, a nightingale? Don't be discouraged if you die. So you've already seen, it's only temporary. It sounds perverse, but death truly is the greatest teacher. See you around. Whoa! Transportation jutsu. Current quests. That's a lovely sound. <laughs> Alright, lots of stuff here. We got melee weapons, it looks like healing, rings or jewelry, armor, coins and keys. Got a map. It's a lovely painting. Toggle mini map. Oh. Um. Sure. Just kind of like with all the rooms and stuff, making me think of Luigi's Mansion. Ah, oh, music's going in. Holy. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. 
Is it from the healing items section of the pause menu? Hong Kong. So I didn't, I didn't get my cake back. Oh, there's a ghost playing the piano. Ah! Oh, it's kind of vibing with the music though. I already forgot how to attack. <laughs> Wah. I'm running. <laughs> nah. Okay. Come on, DXZ. So we have like the health bar in the top right. And then we have a skull. And I don't know what the skull means yet. It's locked. Blue wax crafting a colt. Wax colored with wood. Thwode. Uh, production of spells. Interesting, interesting. That dude has a gun. <laughs> I will check somewhere else first. That looks safe. Oh, so this is a different... Madness of Prado, before the horror began, the city had eight barons, twelve judges, and six princes. Then two princes hanged themselves. On the following day, each prince slaughtered two judges. So there's four princes, and they killed eight. Next, four barons drowned themselves. Okay, so it should be four, four, and four. Whoa, the Colt Library Key Permanent Key. Shoosh! How does he do it? Spirit Twig. Snap it to become a spirit for five seconds. Spirits cannot be seen and are completely invulnerable. Ooh. So can I put this on my hotbar? No. I have to use it from... Interesting. Scooby? Creepy doll. An unnerving yet harmless child's doll. Place to create a distraction or draw attention to something. Okay. It's a nice little, like, little alcove. Yellow wax. Okay. This is a long ass hallway. Red wax. It's gonna teach me how to craft, or I would assume so at some point. There's like a crafting tutorial. Oh my god. I found her. I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. I believe you'll do well in the dream. Let me give you a little gift. It's an old ring of mine. If you die in the dream, you'll lose most of your items. But some blessed items like this ring will survive from night to night. Uh, let's ask about... Margaret. Um, father. Because he runs the place, right? My father is Dr. Robert Blackett. Famed American physician turned Welsh asylum owner. What? It's a heck of a change. Have you heard of the composer John Sebastian Bach? He's my father, father's favorite. Bach was given a near impossible task by King Frederick of Prussia. Devised the accompaniment to com complicated melody on the spot. You see, King Frederick loved to humiliate visitors to his court in this way by having them fail at something they were supposedly excellent at. 
Bach complete the task, much to the amazement of everyone in the room. When I first started learning how to play the piano at the age of eight, my father gave me the same challenge. In fact, he gave me the same challenge every day for four years. When finally I had learned enough count, uh, enough counterpoint to complete the challenge, he congratulated me for taking four years to match what Bach had done in a single night. My father was always inspired to match achievements of his heroes. He just never realized that his hero was really King Frederick, not Bach. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, let's go. Okay. You already asked about the dream. Okay. Guess we'll just ask about her. Um, I never knew my mother. I wonder why. I was born in China in the wake of the Second Opium War. My father says he died in childbirth, but I'm not sure I believe him. Should be back. My SB's doing weird stuff, maybe. That happened, that happened during Call of Cthulhu as well. Like, my internet didn't actually go out. OBS just dropped the zero and would not come back. So I have to, like, close it out and then... Do from there. But while I am paused, I'm going to move my fan real quick. It's toasty in my room. I also went ahead and changed um, the Twitch ingest servers. Maybe it was like a Twitch thing. So I, so I had issues during uh, Call of Cthulhu as well. But if it keeps happening, I, I might just have to stop for the night. We'll see. <clears throat> Why can't I back out of this? Go to my, go to my. That's why my controller came undone. <laughs> that would explain it. The breakaway cable on it broke away. It shouldn't be the USB cable plugging in, because I've, I've plugged it in many times before. I don't know. It just... That was weird. OBS just, like, literally just completely crashed. <laughs> Went to go play the game, and OBS just shut down. Very strange. Uh, how do I get out of this chair? Okay. Read Welsh Country Houses 1. Do I want to? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never seen OBS just like straight up crash like that before. Spirit twigs. There might be some lore on stuff, but more creepy dolls. It's the game, it's interesting. Still not quite sure <laughs> what I'm actually playing, but, uh...
Nah. <laughs> Whoa, killed her. Also, I might need to turn up that audio. <laughs> that was pretty quiet. Uh, let's see. Sound effects. The UI is really... That's the lowest I can go on it, really. <clears throat> All right. What do you got? Corrupted finger offering. Made Charlotte. Offering corrupted finger. So once you kill them, you get to see like their stats. They have health, curse tolerance, poise, bleeding tolerance. Oh, interesting. Got strange coin and an empty jar. Warning candle healing item. Gradually heals curse damage. The longer one stays close, the faster it heals. Interesting. Strange coins. Haunter's ch chess. As perception increases, the unit can see spirits from a further distance and detect increasingly sophisticated hexes and illusions. Units with higher poise are less likely to be stunned or knocked down by attacks. Speed value of 115 indicates the unit performs all actions 15% faster than normal. Luck value of 200 indicates double the likelihood of finding rare or expensive items as well as 10% more coins found. Interesting. So you got a leveling system in this game? Uh, yes. There's a lot of mirrors. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? In this game? It might have some sort of... No, I want to go through it. Ah! Protect me. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I'm safe in here because um, the sigil on the door. Right. Didn't pay attention to that. Hello. Um, so how do I put on a twig? Sign shortcut LB, okay. They go back in there. Oh, you can have 24 different things bound? Quick, ac quick access? That's crazy. Okay. Wasn't expecting... Wasn't expecting that. Okay, we're safe here. Okay, and the mini-map even shows, like... If it has a sigil and a mi okay, mirrors have to have. It's gotta be like some fast travel or something. Who the heck? Hold on a second. Check over here. The music in this game is great. Bing, bang, bang, bong. Masked man. <gasps> a sterling rep uh, reproduction, why don't you say? Good evening. <gasps> He's got a mask on. I'd introduce myself, but people don't generally wear a mask if they want a, their identity to be known. I mean, he has got to be the father, right? I've been here so long, I can scarce remember who I previously... Who I was previously, anyway. 
I no longer have the patience to beat back the ever-growing throngs of animated corpses in this house. As such, I've become something of a merchant. <gasps> Whoa. I traffic in all sorts of goods. My inventory is always changing. What good is gold in this nightmare? A coin is a favor saved for later. Okay. I'm gonna blink scroll. Medicinal herbs. Bandage. Sulfuric acid. So we don't know how to like craft anything yet. I'm not too concerned about that. I can buy a throwing knife. We picked up and thrown again. All right, cool. First aid. Apprentice's candlestick. Candlestick that appears perfectly normal. However, it has been enchanted to create a small cloud of flame when waved in the air. Ooh. So it provides a method to cast a spell with no materials. The damage is low. Unless used by an expert witch. An axe. A car. Firework. 30 damage, 100 poison packs. I'm assuming it's a one-time use. <laughs> Grandfather clock key. Oh. Allowing for the time to be set. Grandfather clocks are quite loud. I used the clock chimes to track all three to the same spot, then had one of the uh, initiate sisters burn them. Harm. Puzzle oracle. So we're gonna have to get a lot of coins. <laughs> uh, max curse tolerance. Befouled head. Gruesome severed head. The top of the skull has been sawed open. One removed. Miasmatic vapors emerge. Produces a poison gas cloud. Poison the holder and anyone nearby every five seconds. Less fire damage. 5% chance of having damage received. For 22 coins, that's a lot. Um, Fifteen curse damage to Castro. That seems pretty bad, though. Uh, I want to see what is my current weapon at. Okay, the base physical is about the same, but it has way more bleed. Sure. Um, we'll buy healing, I guess. Yeah, just a straight up upgrade. It might also have more range, maybe. Oh, that's for bleeding. Oh, yeah, I'm not bleeding. Ooh. Okay. Critical ring. Contingent ring. 5% chance of doubling damage dealt. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so it's not a permanent thing. This would be... A temporary one. Okay. Learning a bit more of the systems. Locks. Can I peek through? I oh, can't even peek. I guess you have to open the door to peek. Um, I'm so dead. Whoa! He's got the skills. A little... A little blil build bleed up? Bleed build up? Blue 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 hub Medicinal herbs, crafting, lab. Yeah, I guess we have to find the lab. Corrupted heart offering, the large heart of a living corpse. Beast zombie. 65 health, 25 curse tolerance, 5 poise. It's 100% resistance to poison, I guess that makes sense. 
Seven strange coins. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh la la. Four empty jars. Yeah, I need a, a health kit, I guess. Now, when you said it's like Sora's ever changing, I'm assuming that means when you die it changes, and not like if you just wait long enough it changes. It takes seven. Uh, I'm also kind of assuming weapons are not permanent. Yo, boy. Seen a little bit of this? Yeah, it's been going around a little bit. Oh. I keep hitting A to go through the door and not close it. Okay. Hi. Hello. Howdy. Get on out. Oh, two first aid kids. Well, I'll go fuck myself then. <laughs> the wet forest part? Nah, we've we've still kind of in the tutorial. Uh, corrupted fingy. Wow, just spoiling the wet farts. What the hell? Now nah, I don't even want to play the game. You know. Blank scrolls three. Car. We don't we don't know anything about the old crafting system. Yo, Georgie. Do I need to get past the other ghosts? Oh yeah, there's a guy in okay. I mean I feel like at this point I can kinda just fight whatever. So for that, it's gone. Ah. Thing to say. The groundskeeper. Oh, it's Dafted. Dafted. Got four coins, some scrolls, and some herbs. Ooh. And a bathtub. Whoa. Um. I don't think I'm hiding. Well, I guess. Okay. I thought I was supposed to get in the bathtub. First aid kit. Sweet. Poison antidote. Bandage. I'm getting a lot of supplies that I can't do anything with. Hmm. Cut. Oh, I have Kitty on here. Okay. The Night Mother remembers. We are her bricks and her blood is her mortar. Yo, what's up? Oh, a new visitor to our dream. How exciting. I don't have a name exactly, but most folks around here call me the filthy wretch. Yo, Sam. It's like high school all over again. I consider myself a tutor of sorts in the occult arts. You seem like you would make a fine student. Before we get started, I have one small request which you might find a bit off-putting. I'd like you to bring me a corrupted finger, freshly clipped from one of the undead. Okay, I have that. Now, don't look so scandalized. You don't even know what it's for. So just targeting one of the sleeping zombies. I appreciate this is an, un uh, this is an unusual and difficult request, but I assure you the end result will be worth it. Yep, I have one of those. Excellent. I won't ask where you got it. Now, what I'd like you to do is eat the finger. Whoa, this is Jujutsu Kaisen. Just kidding, pupil. Such body parts are a valuable commodity with many uses in the dream, as in life. You see the stone shrine in this room? Yep. I 
Cure's ancient thing. Place the finger into its basin to activate it. It'll help you remember items you might otherwise have forgotten each night. You find shrines like these throughout the mansion. Just as notes two people are like, so are the shrines. Each one require a different offering to activate. Okay. Each shrine you activate will allow you to remember one additional item. Return to meet people once you've activated the shrine. Okay. Interesting. Night Mother remembers. We are her bricks. And the blood is her mortar. Activate the shrine. Plus one item remembrance slot. Manage. It's like, I, I haven't died yet, so. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is the stuff I have now, so. Unless I'm keeping this for later. Like, I would like to remember this item. Actually, I want to keep the axe. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. I fully expected. Our next lesson will be the casting of spells. <clears throat> Whoa, magic user. You may be skeptical about the existence of magic in the real world, but there's no doubting its power in the dream. Hold this blue scroll. Focus your attention on the seal and imagine it breaking while you wave your hand over it. The seal will break and the magical energies contained within consume the scroll and escape. This blue scroll is a protection spell, giving an invisible suit of armor that will absorb a few hits before dissipating. There is a price, however. Using magic will cause one to become slightly cursed. The effects are numerous. Graying of the skin and increased awareness of paranormal activity nearby. Next, strange and horrific sights previously hidden will reveal themselves. Everyone has a tolerance for being cursed. Which, if exceeded, leads to a rather rapid internal rotting process. In that case, using a warding candle immediately to reduce your cursedness. Enough prattle, get the spell try, and see me when you're ready to learn more. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, LB to assign it to here. And then we can go. Kerblamo! Whoa! Craft your own spells, you'll need a grimoire. So what happens I have an extra beginner's grimoire you may have. Use that table over there, create your spells. Ooh, here's a black blank scroll. Oh, it needs some wax. Come see me when you're done. Oh my god, I have wax. Some healing candles. Cool. Cool. Lore. Craft. Okay. Some craft candles here. Got it. So one of each color. And craft red. So you know, blank scroll. One. Okay. Sweet. Door hex spell. Places a hex upon a door. Anyone who opens it will be engulfed in a cloud of cursed energy. Hmm. Armor spell. Okay. Summons a lifelike dummy of the caster, which will attract enemy attention until it is destroyed. What the hell is that? <laughs> what was that squeak? That one seems really good. Oh, did I just make two of these? Oh. Oh, okay. So it's not like a spell you keep forever. It's a consumable. Oh. Weird. I thought this was like you're crafting it to learn it. I've taught you everything I can for now. To continue your studies in the cult, you'll need to find the first witch in the basement. Here is the east stairwell key. Before we're heading down, you might uh, talk to Margaret Black Blackett. She mentioned needing something from down there. Be warned that someone has tampered with the gas pipes in the basement. All the lights are out. In the basement, it's not somewhere you want to be without a light. Whoa! Oh, car. Painful. I mean, it could, like fall all the way off.
Weird. I don't know if that's like a, an aesthetic touch or if it's like, um... A puzzle element. Can I open from the side? I didn't even click that. Whoa, see ya. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have such a trouble with that. We Alright, uh, we need to drop a candle. Quick. Bloop! Candle! Oh, uh, okay. So the skull is the curse. The blue is just the shield I have. Okay. I thought the blue on the health bar was the curse. The mini-map was covering the skull. Hello, can you tell me about the basement? Now you've acquainted with the magic, I have a favor to ask. There's a powerful artifact in the Mostin Mausoleum that may be the key to escaping the dream. The last person seen there was the Butcher Surgeon. He's a butcher and a surgeon? Seems like <laughs> two different things. He's a repugnant man my father hired to help with research in the dream. I've heard he was seen in the mausoleum recently, searching for corpses. Uh, anatomize. He spends most of his time in the basement, studying corpses in the kitchen. As you are much more able of magic than I, could you venture down there and see if you can find anything out? Be careful. Truly odious and unpredictable moment. Odious. Also, have you taken a close look at the curio cabinet in the occult library? Lots of interesting objects in there. I haven't, but I'll go look. Small passage under the curio cabinet crawl through. Moonless, formless paths cannot connect the past and the present. Light this candle to open a path. So long as you don't leave this room, death will return you to this moment. Oh my god, it looks like a little sister over there. <laughs> Combat training procedure. It is critical the initiate activate the shrine prior to beginning training. Otherwise, the night will be wasted. For successful training, the initiate should activate the mirror shrine, pull the chain to release the training assistant, engage in combat, die, repeat. Explain to the initiate that if defeating the training assistant uh, and would like to restart, they can and take advantage of the Iron Maiden in the room. Oh, addendum. So initiates are now barred from using mirror shrines. This training is no longer to be used under any circumstances. Okay. Full chain, sure.
No, I'm bleeding. This kind of sounds like like golden eye kind of music for part of it. Heavy zombie. Whoo! Corrupted heart and a corrupted fingy. Nine coins and some crafting stuff. Cool. Beta attacks by dodging at the last second, then heavy attack to close the distance. Use a yellow dummy. You know, briefly had an French to avoid projectiles or charging enemies. Okay. Cast a red hex in the door or wardrobe, then place a doll nearby to track them. Use sound to advantage. Fireworks can gather all enemies to location if you're choosing. Running is good at local noise making. Okay. Tailor the rings you wear to preferred combat style to maximize damage. Okay. It's the plot. It's a good question. <laughs> Evasion Codex. Scribes in an incantation to recite while dodging. Briefly transforms the caster into a spirit running through them impervious to all attacks. To dodges and rolls. Adds a brief window of invulnerability to curse damage to wearer. Oh my god. Iframes. Iframes. Is that just on? Oh, I gotta go. Okay. All we know is we are trapped inside of a asylum. Um, and we're in like a dream state world. Oh no, we haven't we haven't gotten too far. Christmas ghost robe, permanent light outfit. A light ragged robe representing the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Receive 50% less curse rod damage. Receive 15% less curse damage. Lightweight. Receive 2% less physical damage and minus one speed. Whoa, look at that aesthetic. Shush. Trust, thank you for the 33 month resub. Appreciate you. This is a notification, is it? Well, we can go outside, we can go down the stairwell. Let's go. Okay, that side has a. Two fingies? Yep, okay. Let's remember. Um. What's this at 6% chance of doubling? Okay, the longer you have it, does it. Help for longer. And you can remember the offerings too. Interesting. It won't be worth like remembering all my coins. <clears throat> I don't remember this ring. It seems pretty good. I swear the church was this way, but there's only a wall. Oh, do forgive me. Sometimes I forget that I'm in this dam damnable shadow world rather than the real one. I am a vicar of St. Eli's. Ellie's, Ellie's. The nearby parish church. Or at least it used to be nearby. Feels like it's been so long since I've seen it. Never mind all that. You've been in the house recently? Positively reeking with evil, isn't it? Is that the church in the background over there, buddy? <laughs> As a warrior of Christ, I had once thought to save the poor souls in there. Now I wish to only escape. You may think it's cowardly, but spend a few more nights here and you'll see. The lamp? I see you staring at my lamp. I'd be happy to give it to you. 
But I need proof that you're a valiant warrior of Christ and not in league with the foul beast in that house. Bring me the corrupted heart of one of those hefty, poison-spewing, sheet-covered abominations in there. Oh, I have one. Here you go. <laughs> Excellent. You're indeed worthy of this lamp. Use it well. Sweet. We got a lamp. We got a lamp. And it's permanent. Woo! Let's go. Whoa. Maybe I can use this on that one guy. Oh, we got a chest piece over here. Oh, it's it's got real spooky. The music went away. Read Hedge Maze Shopping List. Critical. Spirit twigs, warding candles, useful camera and dry photographic plates, Bible, cursed explorer ring, ring of perception. My controller is shaking if I get by this thing. Ah, it's cursed damage. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, can I peek? No, I think I'm good for now. <laughs> ah, stop rolling. Reason to not have this turned on. I, mean, I guess it's bright, but oh, firework! Cool. Read wrong room. Sweet Millie, dead girl. I still remember the trick. Open and close any door three times, then step through to the wrong room. Stop. Stop. <laughs> now do I want to go fight this thing? The wrong room thing. Yeah, that was sick. Who the heck? Paralysis leaf. Some warding candles, okay. Oh. A lot of warding candles, actually. Yeah, you get a lot of supplies. Keep forgetting their run. It's all a dream, you know? They're not actually dead. They were never alive to begin with. All the enemy come out to play. <laughs> I 
Hello? Got 17 coins. I could go back and buy some stuff. I want to kill this person, though. Yeah, problems if you get close, they just teleport away. It's a really annoying enemy to fight. There's a couple ways I could do it, but they all require me to leave and come back. <clears throat> uh, the, was this the merchant guy? Yeah. Boing, boing, boing. Good evening. Ah, right, I would like. Ooh. Goodbye, that ring. Thanks. Nice. Ooh. Dial made of dark stone with Roman numerals. Uh, when faced with a difficult puzzle, you can choose to instantly solve it using the oracle. Oh, I see. Is this a puzzle skip thing? Grandfather clock key? This is 10? Sure. Let me buy that, because it's permanent, and we'll buy a first aid kit. I don't know if the grandfather clock is going to work here, because it seems like it's a thing you pull enemies into. Like, oh, I'm making this loud noise. Come come look at the clock. But. Let's see. 30 seconds. If anyone comes in here. Manipulating time magic. Whoa! I I think that is a, a thing that happens. I don't think there's actually a way to get those off the wall and search them. It's quite creepy. That just okay. It's going off. So I don't think it's gonna do anything because everything near here is dead. <clears throat> Not dead. I lied. Voila! Ooh. <clears throat> so now it's one of those things I don't know in this game, but there's respawning enemies. Or if that's an enemy that came from, like, the basement or something. <clears throat> Is this person still here? Alright. <laughs> I finally killed him. <clears throat> Poison leaf. Cup of tea healing item. A human finger. <clears throat> Whoa. Summon Spears Book. Holy shit. Initiate. It's cool once you kill them, you get like their actual stats. Like, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> now, is it a one time use 
It can't be a one-time use, right? Maybe it is. <laughs> I hope not. I hope it's not a one-time use. Summons Britney Spears. Yep, it sure does. Hardy roll. Heals an additional 1% per second for 60 seconds. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I love peeking through. <laughs> Seeing nothing. Ooh, another roll. Sulfuric acid. Okay, they give you a lot of items. I don't know how I'm going to sneak with the light. That doesn't seem... A nine. I'm seeing things in your friend. Oh my god. We're, this is this is a controller issue. Like, I just don't know how to use a controller. Uh, I wanted to put on the spell. this oh god I can't use a controller ah. uh what it doesn't I need to run the fuck away. <laughs> yeah, it just, when you get into like the heart of combat, it is really hard for my brain to process like what buttons I need to press to swap the stuff. Um, what am I even looking for? Your warden candle. <clears throat> that was a one time use spell. I don't like that. <clears throat> I wish spells were more permanent. So I don't like this big motherfucker guarding the hallway. Dude, that's... I... <laughs> can't dodge that spell. Can't be done. Analysis jar. Oh, we got number nine in here. Any fans of the number nine? I have no health. Uh, eat a roll, please. That's what I'm saying. Storage. Savior ring. 6% chance. Oh, okay. Sweet. Didn't even have to buy that one. Seven more coins. Oh my god. Coin purse. Permanent treasure. Cloth coin purse dyed red with blood and powdered organs. Normally all possessions are lost upon death in the dream, but this purse will safely preserve ten coins. Oh. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Fuck. 
Fuck yeah, bud. Each and I explore the boundaries of his magnificent and horrifying gift. I'm eternally grateful to Dr. Blackett. Though he claims he does not believe in God, it is plain that he has been chosen to do his work. Clumsily, the previous inhabitants of the house exposed the dream to magic. Cosmic concepts have been cloaked in the false vocabulary and childish sigils of the 17th century charlatans. It'll take decades to study to properly harness this magic. Thankfully, I have plenty of time. Plenty of time. What's with all the chess pieces? Yeah, we still don't know quite what the... Mirrors are for. I know what you're thinking. Why would the gentleman and his dog be locked up if they hadn't done something nefarious? Surely this man murdered someone, and his great beast of a dog dragged the body into a lake. Well, I can assure you, we are merely the victims of a cruel jape. No more. My name is Felix, and this is my noble hound, Horace. You'd be so kind as to fetch the rusty cage key. I'm sure we can be of great use to you. Do you have the rusty cage key? Uh, I do not. The rusty cage key and a doggy. Oh my god. Oh, fuck my nose. <clears throat> There's no handle. And hilarious Jeep. Sound like the big lady was on the left. You have a question. I doubt it. Pottery shard. A nondescript remains of something porcelain can be thrown to create a distraction. The laboratory. Progress is slow. I have no pupils. The dream has become overrun, disgusting, disease ridden corpses. The wretched butcher surgeon turned the dream into a nightmare and now has the audacity to linger here. Claims Dr. Blackett hired him, but I cannot believe God would mislead one of his chosen ones. We need fresh inhabitants, free of disease, with minds open to Christ's wonders. Most of our high schoolers and university students do not know what they want to study. It's basically the most common thing to ever exist. <laughs> it's also super common to think you want to study something and then start studying it and realize it's not something you actually want to study. Officer Roland Bryce, Mond Mouth Shire Con Constabulary. Constabulary. Inve investigating the potential murder of Peter Mostyn. <gasps> Impossible forged will leaving family estate to American physician Robert Blackett. <gasps> State staff reports Peter appearing pale and sickly for nearly a full year before death. Peter had been a severe alcoholic for seven years following the death of his father and sister. Dr. Robert Blackett and his daughter, Margaret, had been living in Mostyn House for three years. Stat state, as state staff reports no conflicts between them. Unsubstantiated rumors of an uh, intimate relationship between par Peter and Margaret. <gasps> A romance. What? Ah, you must be Nightingale. I've heard wonderful things about you from my daughter, Margaret. <gasps> Robert Blackett. Oh my god. The final boss of the game? I do apologize for not coming to visit you sooner. Oh, I see you staring at my head wound. Nothing to worry about. Cut my head open on a low doorway. We old men bleed so easily. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time, so I must be heading upstairs. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to get acquainted here in the dream. For now, feel free to use my laboratory. 
You seem like a clever girl, so I'll let you borrow my basic lab manual. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I don't want to become pilot H7. A lot of people like, like, want to be pilots or like, like join the Air Force or something, and then they realize that they like physically can't because of, like eyesight and stuff, right? That's a common one too. Well, I don't know how common it is, but <clears throat> there's many a tale of people like, oh, you know, I want to, I want to fly and be a pilot when I grow up, and then they're like, ooh, your eyesight fucking sucks. <laughs> Kind of goes of math. Yeah. Erica wants to be an astronaut? Nah, fuck that. I don't want to go die in space. <sighs> Craft. So we make acid jars. Okay, we can make projectiles. Acid jar, poison jar, tonic jar, paralysis jar. Ooh. Oh, tonic jar heals. Ooh. Ooh. I need. I need healing. <laughs> The other stuff's great too, but I'm assuming the thing he gave us is like a permanent upgrade. Like we'll always be able to use the laboratory now. This game on PC? I only play games on PC. <laughs> if you ever see me playing a game, either it's on PC or uh, it's played through PC on a non-PC means. <laughs> The real to study? Yeah, yeah. Well, being an influencer is like being the new rock star, right? Cause I, I went to the left. I mean, any like creative field is the same, right? Like, you want to be an artist or a musician or an influencer, blah, 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 blah. We'll be a sports ball player. The wine cellar. Ooh. Okay, another offering. Alright, we'll get another heart. I would like to remember. Um I don't remember his ring. So we're already keeping ten coins. Fall 76 is free with Amazon Prime. Case Notes 2. History of Dr. Robert Blackett. Made a fortune as a talented physician in Boston treating unusual cases. Took a trip to China in 1860, possibly to avoid war in U.S. Left China and England. Left China for England. Bringing half Chinese daughter Margaret with him, mother unknown. Unsubstantiated rumors of heavy opium usage. Met Peter Moss in 19 or 1878. I cannot read. Robert and Margaret move into Mostyn House. Three years later, Peter dead, and Robert owns Mostyn House. Whoa. That's some deep lore. Lore so deep. Uh isn't this the late? This is the one that burned me. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Not the first witch. Ah, uh, Nightingale. I'm sorry for our earlier misunderstanding. I'm the first witch and I run the Sororal Order of the Initiate. Initiate it. The filthy wretch and I, through careful and often perilous experiments, have come to understand much about the dream. I bestow this knowledge onto a worthy young initiate such as yourself. How do we train you? This will sound a bit... Cobb. The blood and vital organs of the dream's inhabitants hold tremendous power. By offering them in a ritual to the entity, 
that controls the dream, the body may be permanently strengthened. Additionally, worthy initiates are given special gifts as they ascend in the ranks. In fact, you'll receive a special gift after your very first offering. Here's a hunting guide and an offering list you can refer to. I look forward to working with you to unlock your full potential, Nightingale. Um, I mean, yeah, okay. Oh shit, we can level up. Oh shit, we got some leveling to do. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, what do we want? More health? More curse tolerance or more immunity to other tolerances? We want more health. <laughs> Curse tolerance it is a big part too, but I think health is just the way to go. You are now level one. Didn't it say I was level 10 in the menu? <laughs> Congratulations on your first offering initiate. Your reward is a key that unlocks our network of secret passages. This has got to be for the mirrors, right? Bookshelf in this room connects directly to another part of the house. Very convenient. Oh, okay, it doesn't. Your next reward will be at level five, an advanced grimoire that will let you create new spells. Oh, okay. Oh, I need more finkies. No, oh, okay. You need to begin a new night. All of your targets will be revived to be hunted once more. Dying is one way to start a new height, but it comes with obvious downsides. Search for another blue bookshelf and you might find a different way. Okay. Whoa! Back in my base room. Oh, oh. Wow. Now, do I also have to give her the offering? I got two human fingies. I don't remember what she gave me. Give me the key. Didn't she give me a thing that explained what offerings I needed to do? The Lovecraft game? Call of Cthulhu? Yes. We beat that the other night. It's up on the, the old playthrough channel. Phantom's Ring. Uh, magical ring. When the wearer is over 50% cursed, a faint violet glow appears around their feet. Their footsteps become much harder to hear. Oh, interesting. Not super useful, but I don't have a fourth ring, so we'll put it on anyways. More coins, more healing stuff. Irsham, there's another guy in here. <laughs> oh, I don't have. Ah! <sighs> Woo! Okay, equip that. Use. Oh, it's a th oh wait, a paralysis. <clears throat> oh, I see. Okay, I thought this was what I equipped on the bar. Honestly, I was kind of expecting it to have died by now. <laughs> I was really not thinking I was going to make it this far. Hmm. 
can just pick up. Ammunition. A thoroughly modern photographic plate with a camera can be used to create curiously vibrant photographs. Interesting. All right. Are we going back to Soma where we are going to steal some souls by using a camera? We can take a picture of these enemies and just steal their soul. Reach into the toilet? Absolutely. The rusty cage key. Ooh. Got your soul. No. -er. I needed that. That's the best part of the Saw video games, is reaching in the toilets filled with needles. Oh, yes. I would like 10 more health, please. You're now level two. Oh, oh, level three. Sweet. Oh, we need a corrupted fingy. Oh, shit. We're going places. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, buddy, I got your key. Surely this won't backfire. Oh, you will not regret this. Not one bit. He says right before I regret this. Let's the, let us dust ourselves off and we'll meet you upstairs in the study. Upstairs in the study. I got I got a giant woman chasing me. We gotta go now. I guess we can go back upstairs. In the study. Study. Uh let's go see what I can buy. Can I buy a finger? I don't think so. Fire damage, max tolerance. Um, yeah, I'd rather have that than the ring I have on now. Nice, mass curse tolerance. <clears throat> this is really reminding me that we, we got to play Castlevania games this year. Good to see you again. Now we're free. Horace and I would like to offer you a special service. So I understand that the witch in the basement is always looking for offerings, fingers, hearts, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about witchcraft myself, but I knew how to procure these offerings. You see, Horace and I are skilled hunters. Anyway, always in search of our next target. So just let me know if you'd like us to go hunting, and I'm sure we can make a deal. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have the coins anymore. Corrupted liver. <laughs> Me after a Friday night out. Um, yeah, I mean, if I, I can buy a finger, which is what I need, but then I have to go get more coins. Okay, cool. Uh, does she have anything new to say? Thank you for rescuing Felix and Horace. I'm not sure who locked them up, but I have my suspicions. Also, you've met the first witch. Be cautious around her. She is highly secretive and exerts a high degree of control over the initiates. Okay. Cool. Well, I should not have bought that ring then. <laughs> That's what I'm realizing.
I didn't think that would hit my own target and then like backfire on me. <laughs> this is awkward. Uh... She doesn't have like that much health. Oh, hello. Just face tank it. I can heal after. All right, sweet. <laughs> oh, okay, I love her. The giant made Tara. 120 health. Curse tolerance, poise. Super weak to fire. Super weak to fire. Okay. Cool. And we got some coins. Ooh. Okay. I think we. Oh, yep. 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 We do this. We totally do this. We go back, pay the guy for a fingy, and then we go and get a. Is that? Why is this so spooky all of a sudden? <laughs> Hello, I would like one phalanger, please. I think. Is there a way to check what exactly I need for... For the offering stuff? Right back. I mean, he already gave it to me. It literally went my inventory as soon as I paid him. <laughs> huh? Oh, everything I got so spooky because I have curse on. Got the curse energy. Aha! Whoa! That's cool. I do like all the background effects. That's really, that's really nice. Like, usually when something weird happens in the background, you're like, that's a game mechanic I need to interact with. Like, the painting's tilting or something like that, but if it's just, like, a spooky thing, when you get curse energy. Uh oh. Oh, that stuff lingers on the floor. I don't like that. Hmm. I'm, I'm kind of assuming once we get the five, because that's like the next time we get a reward, maybe we get more options. Because there's like... Obviously a lot of different stats you can have on the right, like, that go up. And these just affect the first couple. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do health until five. Oh, oh, I need coins. All right, we need seven more coins. Ooh, firework. The boiler room. Permanent heavy headwear. Minus two speed. 
I'm not really like, too worried about speed at the moment, honestly. Um, this does have rot damage and curse damage stuff. What does this look like? Oh, it's just the helmet. Oh, you can wear both. Oh. Sweet Millie, dead girl. In the dark, I can almost see her. Our number gain. West to east and white lead. The other two are where we laid our heads. Oh yeah, we do have that like, um, wrong room thing to do too. <clears throat> okay, well, I know there's the number nine somewhere. <laughs> Didn't pay attention to any other ones. <sighs> the autopsy has ruled Peter's death as alcoholic cardiomyopathia. I Okay, whatever. Although the performing doctor's notes some irregularities. Transfer of my uh, myston myston house to Robert Blackett following Peter Myston's untimely death is suspicious. However, given all of Peter's immediate family is deceased, it is not so unusual as to be implausible. It's the officer's opinion that the investigation should be closed. Ah, uh, you got paid off. Oh, there's a two. Maybe we gotta check the last room. It's a creepy <laughs> suit of armor just to have there. I guess that procs like me doing more damage. Ooh, okay. We, uh, I think it also like is that one leveling up? No, because it's like it has that yellow six on it. They both do, I guess. Cool. <clears throat> All right, four nine two four. Go back and get level five. Yeah, this is going really well, surprisingly. What? It's four two nine backwards. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's west to east, so it's backwards. Well, I got the lights back on. Oh, let me go get my offering. Give me level five, please. You're now level five. Woo. I don't even remember what I was supposed to get from this. <laughs> You're proving yourself worthy of possessing an advanced grimoire. Oh, right, right, right. Use this an occult wax table to mix your waxes together, produce colors and spells. Your next reward will be at level 10, your initiate's outfit. <gasps> Dobby has getting a sock. What master has given Dobby a sock? Another fingy and some coins. Okay. We have so much more health now. <laughs> Double the starting health. Crazy. Why did it look on that one? Well, I'm gonna go back real quick. Cause I thought we were coming down to the basement to kill the... the butcher surgeon guy. He might be behind that door. Uh, but we're also coming down here to turn the lights. So I might have a new quest up here for me. Also, can I buy a human finger? It's a weird thing to say, but... <sighs> you can. Ooh. Okay. I, if I bought this, I don't have the coins for it. Uh, 
Oh, man. Let's see quests here, can I? Find another blue bookshelf secret passage. Not actually look for more blue shelves. Bless. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool and super spooky. <laughs> that was pretty cool, but also pretty spooky. So we can make the enchant spell. Of the three suits of armor or dolls can be enchanted to do battle for the caster. The armor will follow the caster from room to room until it dies in combat. Ooh. This takes a blue and a yellow. Okay, I like that one. That's why there's random suits of armor all around the place. Okay. Curse ball spell. Fires a slow moving ball of cursed energy. Uh, harvest field spell. Creates a local field of vampiric energy damaging foes and using their vital energy to heal the caster. Vampir does not work when the caster is in danger. 20 seconds deals damage each second and heals the caster. Ooh. Well, I want to make one of each just to try them. And then I might just make all of those spells. I don't remember what that blue bookshelf looked like to know what the what to look for. Um Open and close any door three times, then step through. Well, let's check out what the left room is before I do anything here. Um Pretty cool. Moonless, formless paths connect the past and the present. Light this candle to open a path. As long as you don't leave this room. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get my curse ball ready to go. I mean, this is going to be the... Uh, Knight, can you move out of the way? <laughs> oh, you must be the new boy. Just so you're aware, the last boy died of sepsis. He did not listen carefully to my instructions. This patient is dying. I need you to run to the laboratory and craft a tonic jar. You may just be of some use, boy. Let's ask about the mausoleum. Oh, I see. You're not the new boy. Oh, he wants to fight now. You're a puppet. Wow, this is Liza P. I'm gonna snip your strings. Kerblammo, magic attack. Um. I just want to listen to the music for a second. Oh shit. Music goes so hard. <laughs> 